Buenos dias, fishing freaks. Hey, Juan Carlos, aquí, pesca, pescadores, mucho. Yes. How was that? Uh, I don't know, man. Not very good. But we got all day, so <laughs> let's keep trying. Okay. Terrible example of some Espanol, y'all. But I do have Senior Bass with me, aka Juan Carlos. He's ready to go. He's down here for Guggen Week. We're gonna be having some fun. We're doing some scouting today. And we got manager Matt with us, aka King Ranch. King uh, Ranch! That's right. <laughs> the lakes are all flooded, y'all. It's probably going to not be that great, but we we are fishing freaks. That's what we do. We go out and we test these things. There's logs floating. Safety first, Juan, watch out for the logs. You guys are still wondering, yes, there is a snake still in my yeah. boat. Watch out with the snake too, man. The, uh, cu cubali, culebra. Cu culebra. Culebra, si? grande or pequeña? Pequeña. Grande, uh, uh, pequeña. Pequeña. See, si? see, si? there it is. We're gonna learn some Spanish today. We're gonna have some fun. Let's get out there on the water. We'll see what they're doing. Motor's fired up. Yo, this water's clear, but it is daggum high. Hi, hi, look at the water in the bushes. I cannot believe this. Actually, I can. What do you expect when it rains for four or five days in a row? Ooh, I see a noodle. I see a daggum noodle out there. Part of today is doing a little scouting. So we're gonna have like a multi-species tournament coming up soon. Me and Juan, we're going to, uh, we're trying to get the intel so we can maybe uh, maybe win this tournament this week. But that's that's for later. We're here in the now. This is similar to the lake we fish uh, for that MTV uh, tournament. Yeah. What was that lake? Called? That was Louisville. Louisville, right? That's our close lake, but no bueno. That would have been a doozy today. No bueno. No bueno. We have floaters. There's a tournament going on. There's nothing great, really, about this situation as far as fishing goes. We're just in each other's great company. That's, that's good. Yeah. Me and Juan are now fathers. You're wearing your new dad hat, Padre and Nueve. How'd I do? That's uh, Padre and number nine. That's what you just say. So let's change your... the E for the O. This is your ninth child, right? <laughs> Kidding, folks. Padre Nuevo. Nueve would be a girl. Nueve would be nine. Okay, it would be number nine. Yeah. These are lessons I'm glad that we could share. <laughs> if you guys are not familiar, Juan has the most popular bass fishing fishing in general, Spanish speaking channel in the world. How does that feel to have that title? I don't really think about it, but I guess cool, you know? Yeah, he's pretty nonchalant about it, but yeah. anyways, if you want to learn Spanish and watch bass fishing at the same time, you can go and watch his channel, get it all there. You don't have to pay attention in Spanish class. You know, from somebody cool like Juan. That's right. You ready to catch some Mondo? Let's do it. I'm gonna start off, I think, straight up going with a dangle. I'm gonna throw me on one of these slim shakes. Not seeing any shad on the bottom right now. But we did see a shad come up to the surface one. out here. We had one, we saw one shad so far. We've had a shad sighting. Manager Matt's back there with a big old spinner bait. That's what guys with King Ranch do. They they throw nothing but big stuff. <laughs> Not worried about catching little fish. I almost wonder. If we go up into some of these cove pockets that are down here, a few coves down, if they would be up into the bushes. Yeah, we definitely need to see what's going on. So we're starting out on a main lake point. It's got some very deep water behind it. It's got about 120 feet behind it. And we're currently, we're, we're on a little shelf. We're on the first shelf. Usually there's like two or three stair steps. No shad. I mean, that's we're looking at nothing at this point. Dragon a worm, smallmouth live down here. Stripers live down here, large mouth. We're thinking about doing a tournament where all species count. So we're looking at everything, bluegill, everything, gar. I can see my bait about five feet, six feet down on with overcast, so. You lost count already? How many diapers you changed? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I took the first 48 myself. <laughs> I just let her know, hey, first 48, honey, I, I got after it. What color is the poop right now? Yellowish. Yeah, looks brownish. like mustard. Yeah. These are these are new dad conversations for sure. And I make you want to like scoop it up, put it on your sandwich, you know? Oh, it's like a Dijon. Uh, if you had one like explode, like oh, go yeah. beyond, yeah, dude. like hit some dude. walls, yeah. 
Yeah, two? Two of those already. Two wall smackers. Oh, where you got to clean it out of the car seat? No, I haven't had one of them yet. All right, what do you say we uh, head to some greener pastures? See, si, oh yes, gringo mucho. On the fluke. Division freaks. Got myself the standard. Old, just old white fluke. Here's look at them shad right there, man. Kind of back here in a pocket. I'm twitching this thing over bushes and rocks because the water is about seven feet high. Right what I'm seeing here is also boats going to the backs of the creek. So that is a good indicator. This is something that we need to be doing. Sometimes you just got to use common sense. Oh, there's a bass on it. Bass on it, bass on it. Spotted bass, spotted bass. Two of them. Little bass one. Look at him, look at him. Oh, did you see him? You see him try to eat it? There was another bigger one that it looked like a spotted bass or smallie actually behind it. Okay, they might be all the way back here. Oh! See? <laughs> Crickbait in La Crotcha. <laughs> They run the hoses. Oh, got it. There you go. There you go. There we go. First hookup. Doesn't feel big. Definitely isn't. But it is a fish. Let's see what species. Spotted. No, it is a spotted bass. Chad, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Revealer. Revealer of the secrets. Juan, let's get a shot of that. Look at that. Let's look at the bait. Let's look at the, the actual bait. <laughs> Boom. There you go. Now, Juan, tell me something. Yep. Is this the kind of spotted bass you're used to catching? Uh, not really. Yeah, they're That's probably like- kind of like on the smaller size. The belly's probably about right there. Yeah. Yeah, the difference is that that's what? That's a shad, right? Right there? Yeah, yeah. And those are eating like herrings. They're like 10 inch herring. They're eating big old hot dogs at Lanier. Yeah. So, Senior Bass, he, uh, he fishes as Lanier where they have the, the actual big spotted bass. Well, first first one, and we're heading back here, so there's a little bass, I see them. Yeah, there's probably a bunch of little, but the bluegill, man, insane. Hey, oh, apologize. You, you gave it back to me. Yeah, I did, mine had a little more. Oh, that's a carp. Oh boy, oh boy, we have everything back here. I'm actually getting excited. Ooh. Stick. I got a tree pounder. Oh, that's one of the longer tree pounders I've caught in my life. That was more of a, a root dweller there. So we got bushes and bushes and bushes and bushes and bushes back in these coves. And we're starting to get some activity. Matt had one on a jig back there, came off, but what's happening is there's things back there. They're living in there. There's grass. These fish are not, whoa, my microphone's falling off. There you go. There's a thing behind me. It's called Uvia. U uvia? Uvia. Otherwise known as rain. Just uvia, you say uvia? U uvia? You say that? Yeah. Okay. That's like B plus. Of uvia. 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 Where's your rain jacket, <laughs> senor? So greeting. Oh, the senior bass just breaks out a rain jacket. He's like, where's your rain jacket? So I saw that Matt didn't have any rain gear, and I, I didn't know that he had rain gear, so I was like, I'm just gonna leave my rain gear in the truck because I don't wanna be that guy that's like, I got rain gear, what about you guys? You had two sets of gloves this whole time? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we have this wall of rain cupboard, and we don't have proper equipment, so. Proper Uvia equipment. I'd have to uh, cut our day a little short here. I set here. out to buy rain gear this morning and could not find it. Matt went to Academy to buy rain gear. They told him to uh, go check the camo section <laughs> and uh, buy a trash bag. Oh! <laughs> Hello? Check one, two. Can you hear me? <laughs> check one, two. The radar doesn't say anything about a storm right now, but we can clearly see it. Yeah, they lied. So we're taking a chance and we want to what, flip? Yeah, oh yeah, this juicy Flipiando. stuff back here. Ooh. Flipiando estos, estos árboles. Oh. Y, y swim bait, tal vez. Un swim bait. Everything. Action. I think anything. Look at these. Look. Here's the other thing. We have cover. We have cover for ourselves. The fish have cover. Mm -hmm. It's it's more it's bien. Cobertura, sí. Si. Started to mist a little bit. Get R2 Dito down in the water and let's, let's hammer down. This is a good deal right here. Sausage. Venison sausage. I think this is uh I think this is one of Rob's deer. 
a shot like last year or something. This is a good thing to do when you're, you're just kind of sitting here waiting for senior bass to <laughs> smoke one. Just grab yourself a sausage. I might just serve you guys up here. LFG guide service, man. I, I, I still got it in my blood. Mmm. That's crunchy. There mm -hmm. you go. Thank you. Jalapeno y queso es muy bien y I uh, can't figure out how to say deer. All right, one of you two has to rip one back here. Oh, 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 oh fish, 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 fish. Look at that big carp right there. I'm about to break out my bluegill rival. I just need a big tasty bluegill. A few days. Look at that little bass. Little bass wants it too. Okay, folks, I have what I think is possibly the juice. You gotta squint at it, it's so small. I'm actually trying to figure something out with these bluegill, and what I noticed on this last little section, I caught a bass, but I noticed they were coming up to the top. They wanted something topical. So that's what I'm gonna give them here. This is a little jerk bait. Okay, I'm calling a topwater bluegill here. Just need me a good bush. There he is. Hey. Got him. Oh, yeah. hey. You got him. Oh, that's a bass, and he ate it right there. Did you see him? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good, that was a good bass. Did you see how he just gently tried to suck it? That was one of the cool bites of the day. But just gotta get the, the right selection on here. They're just sitting there. They're wanting to pop it so hard right now. Can't even contain themselves. Boom, 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 boom. Got him. See right there? That is a point. That's five. points. That's five. That's five points. Let me see. <laughs> oh, oh, I just had a bass swirl underneath it. What? <laughs> oh, we're figuring out things. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the back of this pocket. I am 100% confident that I'm going to lay some wood. Multi-species competition. I live for that. I feel pretty outstanding about this free fish day. You got to keep in mind, this isn't just bass. Although, I just had a spotted bass come up. It was bigger than the first one I caught today. Come up and just slowly, boom. Bass, bluegill, the sunfish species, jammed up in the backs of these creeks where the water's flowing in, and you just hammer down on bluegill. You hammer down on those little bass, because a 12 incher is worth just as much as a five pounder. Today's all about figuring out strategies. I think I got it down in. All right, let's see if there's any flippers in here, or maybe some, some bluegies. Ready to attack? Oh, what? what the heck? That was a bass. This technique. Oh, gosh. They're coming out of nowhere and smacking this thing. Oh, oh. Bass? Ooh. Yeah. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Okay. okay, this is the technique. Okay. Matt, 100% you need a frog on, dude. Oh, I got him. Oh, it came off. No. Ooh, look at all this frog water back here, son. Oh, God. I got it, got it. Okay, I'm gonna have to start getting some floating rods. Oh, right there, <laughs> yeah, get as soon as I hit the water. Worth points. It's crazy, there's a little bass in there. They're kind of fighting over it, there's big bass in there. That's a carp, oh, it's a giant carp. Holy cow. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him on the pond. Huh? Oh, yeah, man. Points. Otro para el señor. Okay, that. That's your number, what? Just doing big things with little lures. Oh, they're just coming up. They're just oh. loaded. They're loaded on that tree. They're loaded on that bush. Oh, man. He's a fighter. It's, it's going to oh, be look. A... There's like four more on these. Yeah, the there, there's tons of them. That's the one where Big Mama Bass ought to be. Oh. Got him. Got him. Dude, he took me by surprise. You watched him eat it? No, nope, not really. Large mouth. Oh boy. Nice one. Senores. Oh <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah. That's in your Justin. Yeah, man. Hey, you, you gotta you gotta walk away with something. Can't That's be like right. Matt, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Grande. Mirenlo, mirenlo. Cinco puntos. Puntos. Tienes como... It's been caught before. That's, that's a Sucky healing fish. boom. Yeah, boom. yeah. Yeah, you got to give him a sniff. Lo que hace aquí, señor. I was, you know, like, 
it, it's, it's gonna be an owner for me to do that, you know? Okay, I meant good. to sniff that other one, but I'm like, that's like his thing. But since you said it, yeah, here we go. Sniff. Yeah, get in Let, there. Let's make it there. look big. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Smell uh, like healing womb. <laughs> yeah, what's he been eating? <laughs> I know, right? Shad. Probably. Shad, yeah, he smells like he got shad breath. Yeah. Dude, look, he got one right there. You see the tail? Oh yeah, I see his tail. Yeah, he really does have shad breath then. Here we go. So, yeah, the cold front is basically, it's about to be here. It's gonna be a multi-species massacre. I got time for a few flips, Matt. Bushes just look awesome. There's so many bluegill in here. I'm just taking a little crack and craw here, flipping them around these bushes, trying to end on a, on a cracker. Big old juicy five pound whack. It's at the hook, boat flipping in here. It'd be like, adios amigos. Just close the video out that way with Senor Bass. It'd be, it'd be an epic closeout. Right on Matt's uh, lap. Right on Matt's lap. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. Like a metal rank macarena, however you say it. Dang you. Dang you. Oh, I wanted that to be a five pounder, but gosh, I'll take it. I was hoping it'd be a lot bigger, but smoked them on a crack and craw. We were we were learning about uh, la macarena. It's the it's basically the juice in Espanol, and uh, that was the juice right there. Oh, I love you. Hope I catch you in a few days in the tournament. It'd be worth 30 points. It's Boom. Está bien. I think that means everything's good, right? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Listo. W Listo. Vámonos. Listo. Vámonos. Dale. Okay. Let's see. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. Que tu cuerpo na 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 diga cosas buenas. Dale a tu cuerpo alegría, Macarena. Hey, Macarena. Ah. He's multilingual. Just so you know, he does. He's sign Spanish and English. Any other languages you know? Uh, ni hao. Miha, that's that's Mandarin. Yeah. So there you go. We figured out the deal for this tournament yeah, we've situation. Got uh, you know, hopefully we're we're teammates because we both experienced the same thing. Matt almost had a bite, so <laughs> he yeah. he had something going on for a second. So we're gonna go home now. The the plan is we're gonna do this tournament in a few days after all this rain. The water's just gonna keep getting higher, unfortunately. But I think with the pattern that we found with the multi-species pattern. We're gonna be just fine because the water's gonna be coming up over those bushes more and more. The fish are not affected by that. They'll stay around those bushes and it'll be good. Now, if you guys wanna go see the Espanol version of today's video, you can check him out in the description. He's down there. He actually lives in Georgia. He doesn't live in Mexico where I was actually born in Georgia. Did you, ever, did everyone, you were? I was born in Georgia, yeah. Athens, right? Way down south where all the gnats live. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. You know, they, they hunt a lot of hogs there, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hogs, gators. No wonder you do up. that kind of stuff. I do it all, man. I'm from, I'm from that dirty south. You know how we do it down there? I'm getting a text right now from the Googans. Those Googans. What's going on? Just wanted y'all to know that we caught some. Matt, you just let everybody know. You let them know the pattern. Hey, you're almost pattern. You almost caught a fish pattern. Yeah, good. You let them know. Actually, the first video is going up on the uh, on the MTB channel. So we're gonna do a two-part series on this deal. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have four camera guys on it. Uh, four boats, three or four boats? Three. Okay, for sure three boats. So it's gonna be wild. And of course, the dubs are coming right here. You guys know what to do. Keep it locked right here. I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day in the great outdoors. And I'll see you on the next one. Blair. <sighs> I think our dangling days are over for today. I don't feel like it. I'm dreading this ride. Yeah, we got bad weather coming in. Juan Carlos, all the way from Georgia, he is he is going hard. He, he's a fishing freak. He does not he does not skimp.